Everybody else out there watching the Spurs games and thinking to themselves, why is Julian Champagne still starting? I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. What is up, San Antonio Spurs fans? Welcome to TSR Sports. And first and foremost, this is not a video to sit here and trash Julian Champagne. Just going to present some stats, some thoughts, and opinions. He had his chance, and I think it's time to try somebody else. But I also wanted to talk to you guys. Do you think it's time to pull Julian Champagne from the starting lineup? And if so, who would you start in his place? Let me know in the comments down below. Hit the thumbs up if you like to support the channel. And subscribe to become part of our wonderful sports community. So let's talk about Julian Champagne. Not practice. We're talking about Penny. So since becoming a regular starter with the Spurs in eight games, he's averaged 6.4 points per game, just under 19 minutes, shooting 40% from the field and 37% from beyond the arc. Probably saying, all right, TSR in limited time, not too bad. Plus, you know, he's been playing a little defense, averaging 1.1 steals per game in just that, those uh, 19 minutes. However, we need to isolate these stats a little bit more, take off those first two games because he did play pretty well as a starter in those two games, getting 12 points and 16 points. However, since then, in the last six games, he has regressed to say the least. He's had four games where he didn't hit a field goal. And the big thought process, I believe, from Pop is let's surround Wemby with shooters. Well, in theory, that sounds great. But in practice, he's not making shots, nor is he really taking them. In the last six games, in 17 minutes per game, he's shooting a dreadful 20% from the field Spurs fans. He's clearly in a slump. He's shooting 23% from beyond the arc and averaging just under four points per game. That's not going to cut it from a starter. That's just, that is way too low production. If you look up just over my head, he's had two games with zero and two games of two points. We just need a lot more. I know we're not trying to make the playoffs. We're not even trying to make the play in, but we want the team to be competitive. And lately they've been competitive. And I think they could pull off a few wins here and there to start building some morale. But more importantly, team chemistry. Are we not trying to find out who's going to fit the best with Wemby in the starting lineup? And at this moment, it doesn't seem to be Julian. So why not try some other players? First off, the first thing that came to my mind, the first person was, what about Chetty Osman? Started before, plays hard. He can hit the three, might help continue to help the floor spacing. Yes, I know he's on an expiring contract, but I have a feeling the Spurs may want to keep him around. He's been pretty solid off the bench. If the Spurs don't go with Chetty Osmond, they could also go to three-point specialist if they want that floor spacing and the best three-point shooter we have in Dougie. Now, the big drawback with here with Dougie is not only is he on an expiring contract, but he is not part of the future plans for the San Antonio Spurs. Sorry, Dougie fans. He's north of 30. I can't see him staying with the team after this season, but if he does, so be it. When he is on, when he's cooking, he's cooking. He's not shy with taking the shots. As we know, he'll launch them left and right. So I think McDermott, when he's good to go, could be an option in the starting lineup over Champagne. Another option, this one was maybe a little out in left field, but you know, if we're trying things this year and finding out who we want to be on this roster years from now, who we don't, not Dominic Barlow. One of the things the Spurs have struggled with all year is getting crushed on boards. We give up, not maybe not say boards overall, but just give up so many second chance opportunities. And right now, Wemby's the only rim protector in the starting lineup, and he's, he's one hell of a rim protector, don't get me wrong. But adding Dominic Barlow to the starting lineup would give us a lot of size. You would shift Sohan down to small forward, Barlow at power forward, and of course, Devin and Trey finishing off the lineup. And that would give us a fairly good sized lineup, except for Trey, of course, at point guard. I'd be up for this, giving it a shot. He's been playing better lately. Why not throw him in the starting lineup? See what we have. Time to experiment, Spurs. Coach, coaching staff, guys, whatever. I don't know what I'm going with that. I mean, when Zach Collins comes back, he could get put back into the starting lineup. But if you put him in the starting lineup, who are you pulling out? It's not going to be Wemby. It's not, probably not going to be Sohan. Definitely not going to be Devin. And I think Trey Jones needs to stay in the starting lineup. The team is... The offense is running better with an actual point guard. And I, I got to say, I do like what Pop is doing right now at this moment of having Trey Jones starting a point and Blake Wesley coming in and backing him up. The Malachi Branham point guard experiment, I think that needs to end. We, we tried Sohan, we tried Branham. Malachi has not been playing well, uh, except for a few flashes here and this year. And we really need to find out which talent that we want to have long-term with Wemby. Wemby is the franchise. I know some people are like, you know, you're over, you know, overhyping Wemby, but things he can do on the court, He's a number one overall pick. You build around him and find the right pieces that are going to not only get the best out of him, but get the best out of the players that are with him. And I just don't think Julian Champagne at this point should stay in the starting lineup. If he starts cooking, 
you know, maybe get more minutes, but just keep him on. I think he should be on, on a bench roll right now. I know you could also say Kelman Johnson maybe should come back in the starting lineup. I think the Spurs like having him come off the bench, give him some extra firepower, some energy. He, I'll say this about Kelman. He is not shy about taking shots coming off the bench. <laughs> he's, he's still launching them left and right. So it is what it is. But uh, I think it's time to pull the plug on this and, and just try somebody else for now. And hopefully Julian's get his stroke back and starts hitting the threes off the bench. And he's on a very team-friendly contract. He's young. So hopefully he turns the season around. And hopefully our Spurs start winning some games here and there. And, and I just, you know, I don't want the Spurs to have less than 20 wins. It, it really comes down to that. Maybe this sounds selfish or maybe not. But I, I, with Wemby's rookie year and, you know, the other guys are on the team, Devin, Kelvin, et cetera, that have been here for a few years, I don't want the label worst Spurs team ever attached to this unit. Because while the hype around Wemby, you got to think if that happens, that's going to, it's just not something you want. As a player, you don't want that. Uh, you think the Pistons want to be part of the 28 game losing streak that you had? Do you think our current roster wants to have the worst losing streak of all time with 18? I don't want the worst team ever being attached to this team, for the Spurs at least. That's just my personal thing. I don't know. In the end, it probably doesn't matter. The team is going to get better, and I do think this will be a playoff team in a year or two. We're really just a few pieces away. They're still fun to watch. They are getting so close to winning some games. Almost got the Cavs, almost got the Bucks. They want to start pulling off some wins. And speaking of Detroit, I think we play them Wednesday night. We better beat them, Spurs fans. We better beat them. Hopefully you're having a wonderful Monday. If you're in New England... It snowed, the snow's melting, and looks like based on the weather, it's going to be cleared up here sooner than later. So be safe uh, wherever you are if you have inclement weather. And uh, hey, I'll close with this. How about a go Giants? Be, you know, to the Cowboys fans out there, you know, you're welcome, even though you didn't actually need the win, but I'm sure you're happy to see us beat the, uh, the helpless Eagles the way we did. So that's all I got. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, go Spurs, go. And when I feel like this, I'm a mortal. When I feel like this, I'm a mortal.